Does this look familiar to you? A student that is unconsolable because he does not know how to use his words to express his feelings. Or this, your students running around and you unable to control them. Well then, stay tuned because we have something for you. Rowdy kids are a thing of the past. Introducing Bully Walks of Positive Discipline in the Classroom. With our five building blocks, you will learn how to guide your students in a class discussion that will encourage them to work together on any classroom problem by sharing beliefs and ideas in order to come to a common solution. With these building blocks, we can change any negative situation into a positive one, guaranteed. Now, let's see what some of our customers have to say about building blocks to positive discipline in the classroom. This book is such a blessing. Me and my sixth grade students would not have gone throughout the rest of the year on such a positive note. I'm always searching for the best strategies for me and my 12th graders. And thanks to these building blocks, we've had such a successful year. I've been having so much trouble keeping control and discipline in my classroom, but when one of my fellow uh, teachers suggested the building blocks book I was a little skeptical about it but who would have known that this book right here would turn a classroom around as it did like mine wow those are some great testimonies now let's go live to see how one teacher uses his top five building um, blocks for a successful class building block number one in the building blocks to positive discipline in the classroom is forming a circle Hey class, how are you all today? Great, how are you? Doing good. Hello. Let's come sit down in the circle. Okay. Guys, okay, so let's talk about why we like this circle time. Let's hear your suggestions. I like circle time because it gives everyone a chance to speak. All right, well let's write that on the board. Chance to speak. Okay. I like circle time because we get to express our feelings and I know that this stays in the circle. Alright, so expressing your feelings. As stated in the Building Box book, the forming of a circle is to establish an atmosphere where everyone can be heard in one-on-one -on -one situations without being judged. Building Block number two, compliments and appreciation. So class, I just wanted to commend y'all on all y'all's hard work last week. Y'all did so well on y'all's group project. I was very impressed. Good job, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Alicia, I really enjoyed your poem in English class. It was so good. Great job. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and thank you for letting me sit with you at lunch of today. Of course, no problem. It is important to start class on a positive note. Having teachers and students share compliments of appreciation encourages a positive learning environment. Block three in the building blocks to positive discipline in the classroom is create an agenda. All right guys, let's see what's in the agenda today. Uh, Monica, it looks like you had a concern about the midterm that's coming up. Yeah, I was just wondering um, if you were gonna release a review or anything to help us study. Yeah, actually I've been working on that review and next week I'm gonna go over it with y'all in class. Oh. Cool. And then I'll also re release it to y'all online so y'all so y'all can have it, but I'm also going to review it with y'all so y'all know pretty much what's going to be on the Perfect. midterm. Thank you. And then it looks like we have an anonymous concern about our seating chart. Um, does anybody have any suggestions on possibly changing our seating chart, or what do y'all feel about that? Uh, maybe we can have a free seating chart instead of an assigned one. Free seating chart? I mean, that... That sounds good, let me jot that down. Um, anybody else have any? No, okay, we'll, we'll, I'll jot this down and we'll talk about it in class, maybe have a vote on how we can change this seating chart. Great, great, thank you. It is important to always have a special agenda in your classroom for your students to jot down any questions or concerns they may have had during the class period that they were not able to get to ask to you. Building block number four, developing communication skills. So class, um, it seems to me like a lot of y'all have not been bringing y'all's books to class. Is there any reason why or any suggestions on how to fix this problem? I feel like we should really have a class set of books instead of bringing them to class. Okay. Um, Monica, do you have any suggestions? Or? Um, I know for me, I think it's because I never know when 
when we're going to be using our books, so I just never have it on the right days. But I agree with Felicia, if we have um, a class set here, I think that will really benefit us. Okay, I mean, we, we have some room over here in the corner. I mean, I can look in. I'm pretty sure we do have a class set in the book room. I can work on getting that class set down here for y'all. That way, every time we do come to class, everyone has a book. And you're, like you said, you're not wondering when we're going to be using yeah. the book in class. So I'll work on getting that class set for us. Great, thank you. Block number four in developing communication skills. It is important to go around the circle, letting everyone have their turn to speak their mind on any suggestions or concerns that they may have in order to form one common conclusion. Building block number five, learning about separate realities. So class, I know that uh, graduation is coming up. So have y'all applied to any colleges? I went to A&M. Yeah. I applied to UTSA. Why are you the best school? Why are you going to go to UTSA? Because it's the best school. And is the best no, school. No, no. Oh, all right. UTSA. Right. Um, <laughs> it's all right. I, I agree. UTSA is a great school, and a and is a great school. But, I mean, we both, we y'all both don't have the same opinions, and that's fine. If you get into UTSA, you get into A&M, they're both going to great schools. I know y'all both do well at both those schools. As you saw in this building block, teachers focus on helping these students understand that not everyone is or thinks the same way. Our method was carefully structured with teachers and students in mind. To order your copy of the building blocks to positive discipline in the classroom, call this toll free number. So, what are you waiting for? Pick up your phone and dial 1 800 5 B L O C K S. That's 1 800 5 blocks to order your building blocks to positive discipline in the classroom. If you call in the next 10 seconds, we'll throw in this limited edition agenda book. Wow! To order your copy of Building Blocks to Positive Discipline in the Classroom, call 1 800 5 B L O C K S. That's 1 800 5 blocks. And make sure to call in the next 10 seconds to receive your limited edition agenda book to use in your classroom.